Good afternoon, dear students. Welcome back to RB online class. Today our topic is air around us. Air around us. Students, I will show some activities. These papers are moving. See, children. These papers are moving now because of A. Okay. And why does a pin wheel spins? Why does it spins? Because of A. Pin wheel spins. Okay. What can you observe, children? I will show some. I will show some activities. The pages are moving because there is a air, and it makes a papers moving. Okay. Next, air is most essential for us. We take air. We breathe air, and we take oxygen inside. And we give carbon dioxide outside. Okay, air is most essential for all living things. Okay, in this topic, we are going to learn about these points. What are those points? First one is wind. Okay. Second one, breeze. Third one is storm. And fourth one is what does what does a contain? Okay. Let us learn today. We are going to learn these points in this lesson. Okay. First thing is that what do you mean by wind? The moving air. Students, these definitions are important to you people. So, you should note down in your notebook. The moving air. The moving air is called is called as wind. What do you mean by wind? Wind is the moving air. What air moves now? That's called wind. When we fly a kite, why does it move? It moves because of wind. Okay. When we spin wheel spins. See students, this spin wheel is spins because of air. Okay. This spins because of air is there around us. Air is a Big blanket surrounds us. Why does a pin wheel spin? Because that's happened due to air is because moving air. Moving air is there for our surroundings. Now what? Surroundings. Next, what is the uses of wind? What are the uses of wind? 
wind cycles to examples wind help us to these examples for how wind help us wind helping w i n d wind help a kite fly kite fly okay second one is wind helps a boat to boat sail okay third one is wind helps clouds dry faster okay students what are the uses of wind wind help a kite fly without wind or without moving a the kite will the not fly in the sky and wind helps a boat sail it helps to sail a boat and wind helps clouds dry faster okay these are the uses of wind next point is breeze second breeze what do you mean by breeze we have completed breeze second one breeze what do you mean by breeze a gentle a gentle or a slow wind slow wind is called a a breeze what do you mean by breeze a gentle or slow wind is called a breeze we all enjoy cool breeze isn't it a gentle or a slow wind tampu gali tampa bisalri we enjoy that one lot breeze that is called a breeze b r w e z e breeze next what do you mean by storm what do you mean by storm Strong. When the when the wind is strong, when the wind is strong.
when the wind is strong and blow blows very fast very fast we call it a we call it a storm Yes, students. What do you mean by strong? The definition of strong is when the wind is strong and blows very fast. We call it strong. What do you mean by wind? Wind means moving. A moving way will be strong and very powerful. It is very moving fast. That is called a strong. A strong can be harmful. Okay, it can blows. things away it can damage houses and trees plants everything can damage our surroundings okay that is called a storm next point is that we will complete that storm next i'm going to teach you what does a contain okay students what does a contain what does a contain what does a contain a contains water vapor air contains water water vapor second one is air contains air contains air contains dust and dust and smoke third one a contains contains germs three a contains water vapor and a contains dust and smoke air contains also germs how air contains water suppose we wet the clothes under the sun we kept the clothes under the sun the sun become sorry the clothes become after dry sometimes the heat of the sun changes water into water vapors the sunlight sun heat is changes present in the clothes 
water present in the cloth it changes into the water vapors that's why cloths will dry very fast next air contains dust and smoke smoke is comes out from the factories and vehicles it mix up into the air and it become polluted next air contains germs air contains germs when sick person sneezing in air it's mix up with the air it contains a germs that's air we take inside we also become sick and we may fall ill because of germs in the air okay germs also contains air sorry air contains germs okay students in this today lesson points to be remember that what do you mean by wind wind is a moving air next is breeze breeze means it is gentle or a slow wind we feel we feel we enjoy cool breeze next what do you mean by storm storm is a fast powerful blowing wind it harms our homes plants everything it is harmful to us next what does air contains air contains a water vapor smoke dust and dust smoke dust and germs okay students remember all these points we will continue in a next chapter about this a okay thank you